Austin Rodriguez of Dangriga is one of Belize's most prolific drum makers. These days, Rodriguez's daughters are the ones carrying on his legacy. Our Belize Watch team visited the Rodriguez family to get an up-close look at the art of drum making. We will have that story for you after we hear from our partners, Shell Belize, the Barry, Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust, and the National Gas Company. Shell V Power with three times more cleaning and friction reducing molecules. Go well, go shell. We are the Barry, offering you great products, good service, and of course, the lowest prices in the entire country. Visit us in Belize City, Belmapan, San Ignacio Cayo, or York, and now in San Pedro, La Isla Bonita. The Barry. Get more pieces. My name is Carlos Rodriguez. I am Belizean, and I have been in this business for six years. Finally, now, because of transparent prices, better product quality, and fairness in the market, I can see my headway. I have worked hard to buy my own trucks, get my business going, and not depend on anyone. And with NGC operating in the market, I can feel good about the future for my small Belizean business and our employees. In just a short time, I have seen the difference in product quality. A better product means your beauty lasts longer and you get more value for your money. With NGC, there is a fair price across the country. No games or hidden middleman prices. My small business can finally compete in a fair way and be able to pass on better prices to you, our consumers. Trust me, I've been in this business a long time and finally the playing field is level and transparent. I am Carlos Rodriguez from San Ignacio Town and I can finally see my headway. The National Gas Company Belize Limited, fueling Belize forward. Since 2008, the Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust has created opportunities for Belizeans to develop themselves and their communities. The Trust employs tools that are intuitive, collaborative, and accessible so that every Belizean is empowered to achieve their full potential. Over 200,000 Belizeans have been impacted because of our various initiatives. The Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust empowering Belizeans of today to create the Belize of tomorrow. Welcome to another edition of Belize Watch and uh, on this show we have the honor and privilege of being at the home of the Rodriguez family in beautiful Dangriga by the sea. I said by the sea and also by the river because, because the river is very prominent in Dangriga as well. So welcome and uh, it's a, thank you for having me here in your, in your home. And um, we have uh, Data and Laurie Rodriguez, right? Now also with me is my granddaughter Kylie, Kylie Castillo Villanueva who um, well, she, 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 she's learning the ropes. And how are you doing, Kylie? I'm doing great. <laughs> and what are you looking forward to today um, to learn? Uh, how to make drums. Okay, we cannot wait. We have to look at how to make curry from the drums, right? Exactly. <laughs> well, I can remember um, that um, some years ago, I think it might have been about a dozen years ago, more than likely, <laughs> right? When, uh, Nori, you, you show me how to make the curry. Data was there as well. Yes, but she was younger then, yes. yeah. Yes. Uh, okay then, okay then, <laughs> you know. Um, and, uh, she showed me how to make um, drums. We went we went through drum making over a dozen years ago, but I can't remember 
all of that. So I'm happy that you give me another opportunity to re introduce me to the making of the Garifuna drum, which is one of, to me, produces one of the most beautiful songs in the world. I don't think you could take another drum any part of the world and compare it to the beautiful songs that come out of a Garifuna drum. It's unique and, 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 and really it's precious to believe. It's, I, I consider it perhaps one of our national symbols, the, 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 the Garifuna drum, the primero and the segundo. Right, and and I'm honored like you, you all, you all make drums. No, no, let's go, let's go to the beginning now. Let 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 let's, let's start. Uh, let's talk about Dad first and, and his making of the drums and his teaching you and you take you taking over. You data. Data is the spokesperson. <laughs> oh, okay then, data. Yeah, yeah. My dad is Aston Rodriguez. He's 91 years old, and he's been making the drums for like roughly. 45 years, more than 45 more. years. Mm -hmm. yes. And he has seven children, Nori. The first one is um, Alan, he passed away. Then Tito. Then Tito. Ryan. Ryan. Adria. Adria. Arita. Arita. Nori, yeah. then me. I'm the baby, the pretty one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so um, making the drums, he always thought that um, it should be for the boys. Yeah. And then um, the boys, they know how to make the drums, but they're not interested in making the drums. Mm -hmm. Well, Nori started to make the drum first. Mm -hmm. But first, I asked him yes. to teach me, and he told me um, that it's a man thing. So he you know what uh, teach me it. but then i decide for look pana when he did, do the drums and that's how i pick it up by seeing what he do that's how i learn and you certainly did learn because from what i recall some, from years ago i remember how you pick up that chain saw and you do one thing and <laughs> And, and, and what have you, and so we, I'm looking forward to seeing that again and see it's the same Nori in shape, mm -hmm. you know, because she was in good shape and form um, the, the, the last time, right? When, when I made my first drum, he wasn't here in Belize. He was in the States and um, um, my mom tell him, um, Nori's making drum. I say, what? No. She tell her, yes, she the build drum. He say, how? <laughs> she tell her, I don't know, she must be the watcher. They um, build a drum and now she didn't do it. Is it serious? Well, he may left for a month of logs and when he come back, I finish the logs. Okay. I build drum and also matter and kneading bowl. But Nori, how old were you when you realized that that was that passion, that there was that passion there? 15. 15 years Yes. 15 years mm -hmm. And you've been making drums for the last... That, um, I used to do cabinet making with him. He used to build um, chairs, um, bed, table. And I used to do it. I love woodwork. So mm -hmm. as a little girl, you started off looking at Daddy, yes. working, mm -hmm. and wanting to be like, like, yes. like, 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 like what, like, like him, mm -hmm. like, like him, and ended up being like him, really, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. But so, 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 talk to me about growing up here in Dangriga. What do you remember of growing up here in Dangriga? Well, <laughs> 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 we used to do a lot. Um, Daddy used to carry away fishing. We used to go sailboat. He teach me for sailboat also. Uh, we used to go to farm. Woo, we do a lot <laughs> growing up here. What well, about you did? How you remember? Growing up, mm -hmm. I remember growing up. She was always the leader. Uh huh. Yes. So you follow the leader. I follow the leader because we had to because she was always the bigger, per, um, bigger sister, right? Uh -huh. She's the she's before me. But younger than Idra and the others, but Idra have to follow what she says as well. So she was the bossy one? Yeah, yes. she would set us up and then like, uh -huh. go ask, go ask mommy if we make, we go to see. Because like for Good Friday, uh -huh. I think we break that tradition, you know, if we go to see, because of she. Uh -huh. And like, we wait till we must sleep. Then we are saying, she was saying Idra, the older sister, if we go ask her if we make, we go to see, she say, hey, ba, hey, ba. Cause she know why we disturb her cause she de sleep. Uh -huh. But when we reach the yeah, when we get there that they see, uh -huh. now all the girls that they stand up and the boys they stand up. What she had do she had take all the boys and throw them in at the sea if you see who had turned mermaid first. 
So when we see nobody turn mermaid, everybody <laughs> jump in at the sea. Uh -huh. <laughs> I let that good Friday um, yes. all, all feeling. Huh? The, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we grew up with fun, with love, with yeah. in the neighborhood itself. Um, our yard. Our yard always full with all the children from the neighborhood. Each house, when we go to each house, each parent look out for each children, um, for each child. You know, we can going over the bridge, like north side. north side, was like going to Belize City for us. Mm -hmm. Yep, and the older people, if they see we out that way without our parent, they will lash we still carry we home, and then we parent will lash we, and he was that person will lash we in front of we parent. Mm -hmm. But this one. No make the last she and find out your love because she going after you. Uh -huh. A lot of people always say she that the quiet one, but they don't know she. Uh -huh. so, 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 so she rough, not true? She the rough one. Uh -huh. But but that north side, south side thing ex existed here. I was told, uh, Mr. Flores was telling me about, about yeah. north side being this area here where we are. Yeah. At. I mean south, south side. side, sorry, yeah. south side being this area. And then when you cross the bridge and you are... You are on north side. Right. But what was the difference between going being on south side and being on north side? Well, to me, the south side always fun. Uh -huh. The north side people, when you got party that side, they always flap and they have to come to the south side. Ah. Because yes, the because we have drummings, everything, everything on this side. This side. Okay. So, so they have to follow up on the drums there. Yeah, on the south side. So the culture flourished really on the south, south side. side. Yes. Uh, all right. Yes, our uh, party happened on the south okay. side. So, so, uh, and so the culture capital, really, um, the name and all the, 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 the drumming and, and what, what identifies Dangriga as the culture capital, really is due to the efforts of folks that lived on, 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 on the so called south side. Yes. Because I believe in one Dangriga. Mm. <laughs> you have, yes, it's one Dangriga, but then. The liveliness happened on the south side because we have the singers, we have the drummers, we have everything, even the guys playing basketball, the best basketball players from the south. <laughs> All right. The, the parties and the heroes and the, 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 the culture and so flourish on the south side. South side. And the drum making, of course, which you ladies side. are so involved in. On the south side. On the, on the south side, yes. It started from home. The drum making started at home on Tobro Street. That's where I'm in. Yeah. No. Mr. Austin was a cabinet maker from what I'm gathering. Fisherman. Uh, fisherman. Foreman. Foreman? Yes, was foreman on the, on, the on the ship. On the ship? Yes. And. Uh, but he, but so you never started off making. Winchman? Stevedore. Stevedore, yes. okay. So he didn't start off making drums in his young years, no. No, you know. No, um, like, yes, he made drum at an early age, but he still he stopped and then, well, he, he was an all around guy. But the drums weren't weren't, weren't a priority till at till that time, till, yes. till, till forty five years ago. Yes, yeah. yes, roughly forty five. Now he's ninety, so that will yes. have been approximately half of of his life yes, he has spent yes. doing. Uh, a mixture of stuff, and then uh, the other half, the 45 years, uh, specializing in the drum making. Yes. But, um, how he, he used to work on the drum back then. Um, he used to shape it, find the diameter and everything, and cut it in half, and then use a um, gouge to dig it out, and then glue it back. Then later on, he decided to um, use the chainsaw. And that's how he dig right around and take out the center. And out of the center, you could make like three or four more drums. Uh -huh. Yes. I, I can remember you teaching me that, the la um, like I said, a dozen years ago. You know, like um, this log here in front yes. of us, the, this, this log here. You could get four drums out of, mm -hmm. out out of this doing one. Doing yes. the, way how, doing the way how you, how you yes. describe it. Yes. Yes. Right? Well, if you do it the other way, you'll only get one. One. Uh -huh. it, yeah, um, no, what no. they used to do, um, he used to um, dig dry it a little cohoon. and then use dry cohoon and burn it through, and it take you like a month to make only that drum. Job. And only one drum you could get out of it, but now with the chainsaw, you could get four or five drums. And you could do it in one day, right? Yes. yes. One day? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Who's the expert at the chain? So you or you or yeah, I don't know. You have to well, ask both of us. <laughs> <laughs> both of us using the chain so no. Cause yeah. at first I'm a really f um afraid. afraid of the chain so uh -huh. because like well going coming from school I would always go home and then I'm like Daddy, 
you know for the work? He tell me, yeah. I tell him, but you only sit down there. He said, me and my own boss. I tell him, someday I want to be like you, you know, daddy. He said, that no, I'm impossible. Anything where you put your mind to, you could get it done. So again, every time I come from school, I look for Anna. I said, Daddy, I want to be like you, you know, because you work for yourself. He said, okay, that's the way I want to do, make you work for yourself, make that you don't know, have no boss where I tell you know, all kind of thing and cuss you know, up. I said, okay, then. So I start and I start son. I ask her for make I son a drum and I son the drum. So I ask her when the drum was ready. He said, son, till you smell garlic. Garlic, have you, you have you rub garlic in a drum somewhere? Yeah. Like I sun and sun and sun and sun and I tell her daddy. But I know they smell no garlic. <laughs> when he check it, he say, Oh, okay, you don't have to smell garlic. This good. Then now that I know how to make drum now, that then I know that you can't smell garlic out of a mahogany lag. And I look at her and I tell her, Daddy, why you make a sun with drum and then I don't smell no garlic? He said, yeah, that's to make your son to perfection because you need to put out good work. Mm -hmm. That's the way he tell me. He tell me, you don't make what drum to make money. You make a drum because you love making the drum. That with love you to make that drum. Mm -hmm. And that's how I start do my drum. But before that, I never know how to make drum. I mean, it was like, I mean, no learn how to shape it out and everything, but I don't know how to dig out the, the lag. So I asked she Nori, asked Nori would do it for me till Nori said, I'm tired of you. Uh -huh. So now I go to daddy because, you know, me that baby. Uh -huh. So yeah, do anything for me. Till one day he tell me, I'm going to make a deal. I'm going to sell the um, lag, just the lag. And if you go the following day, so I tell her, daddy, you could please dig out this lag here for me because tomorrow you're going. Uh -huh. He tell me I'm busy. I tell her, but you only to sit down there. And his son, and then he start pick up a lag and his son. When I look at it, daddy, daddy, this thing needs to go, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't collect for the, <laughs> for the lag already. Uh, and I said, he said, I'm busy. I said, oh, daddy, but you said, don't wait this so till I get vexed. I mean, they get frustrated with me, pa. I pick up the chainsaw and I look at it and I tell her, daddy, see, you know, they do nothing, you know. <laughs> he tell me, I'm busy. I tell her, but daddy, you sit down. He tell me, I'm busy. I still sit down, yeah, but I'm busy. Uh -huh. I get vexed and I just take the cheese and I put it down. I push it right through the lag. I stop halfway and I look for and I tell her, but daddy can't help me. He tell me I'm busy and it starts sun again. Uh -huh. I take out the center and when I take out the center, he say, yes. Yes. I know you could have me do it. Uh -huh. If I'm a, you, The reason why I don't help you because if I may help you, yeah. tomorrow again you will ask again yeah. and following day you will ask again. So that's why I left with me. I said, no, you could do it. I'm proud of you. You don't start making your drum. So continue. And he showed me how to clean it out. And I, and I clean it out. And that's how I make my first drum. Very important lesson, you know. Yes. I, 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 that, that's a lesson that, uh, that my parents would never teach. Yes. You know, allow your child to, 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 mm -hmm. to, to learn on his or her own. But you just watch it and you make sure that they don't hurt yourself or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But but allow the child to, 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 to use his or her ability. Yeah, because that's the way I notice Panama because like he makes sure he look for me if you see if I did do the right yeah. thing. Yeah. And when I look back Panama, he put down his head for me. <laughs> Every time he do he put down his head. Yeah. And this is the whole I then know that me they take off for his drum, mm -hmm. the center for his drum now. Okay. Because because at 91, he's still making drums, right? He's still making drums. He um, still dig it out, you know, but... Um, he cut it. He cut it. He would have cut it out, yeah. but when we want it, making you know, a cut, the me would do it or she would do it. Yeah. So we did do it for Attila. So I reminded her the other day, you remember you make a cut out my own drum? He tell me, yeah. I tell her, cut out your own one now. <laughs> <laughs> he was out and he laughed. He said, if I never teach, if I never left you to do it, you won't have to do it now. So now after 25 years now, you know how to do it now. That's the way he tell me. So, so he, he's at Why Not Island right now, yeah. as we speak, right? Yeah. So he tell me, um, I could dead now because you know how to do your ball, your matter. I tell her, uh-uh, not act like that. You can't dead now. You're still young. Uh -huh. That's the way I tell her. So he tell me, because I show her even the paddle where he teach me how to make I show her. Yes, yes, we make paddle too. Anything out of wood. Uh -huh. So drums, paddles, bow, the 
full so, work. Yeah. Yes, full work. So if I want to do a Dory. Yes. So if, I, so, so if I want a good Dory, you would you could do something. Yes, you yes. could paddle. Yeah. Yeah. Roughly, how much a dog would run for? Do a um, drum or Dory? The Dory. dory. Hmm. That's what costs it right now. I know, but that's a, val a value. You know, to to uh, the goat, uh, the goat is very valuable. Yes, because then um the trees they they um we normally use a cotton tree because mm. then that float better, mm. uh, and then people they sell it very expensive. No, the one who own it. Mm. Yeah. You want to say something? Um, so you mentioned how you cut out the logs and they make the drums, but where do you get the logs from? Uh, we farmers. We them from the um farmers. Uh, one time we used to um, go go um, go to the forestry department for apply for get the logs, but now they give away a hard time for get it from forestry. So what we do, we just buy it from local people. As back then we used to um, go find the logs there, and then we go to the forestry department till we find this certain log because we use mahogany, mayflower, cedar, salmon, and they would have send one ranger for to see if the um, tree, tree. they were mature tree, and if they were mature tree, they stamp it and we pay for it, and then we have to buy back plant for plant back, because you can't just cut the tree and no plant back. Yeah, so that's how we would have cut the trees and then bring it to town. But now we can't get no um, permit. Every time we try to go for get permit for make we could cut with log, we you can't get find, it. Um, we find out about logs where other people cut, cut and down. left on the ground. Yeah. We still have to get permit for that. And then still if we get permit, there were problem. Were we find out about the one in the north. Yeah. And then like the whole process you have to go through and it depends the ground the rotten way. Yeah. When we could do something good with it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Because these logs that we are sitting on, oh, by the way, folks, we are sitting on some logs, <laughs> right? And so these logs that we are sitting on are future drums. <laughs> so we are really sitting on some drums, some, yeah. some future yeah. drums. Yeah. Yeah. This one in front of me would be a what? what, what, what this what's is a Primero. This is a Primero, a, a big Primero, right? yes. And then um, we have this, this is a Segunda. This one make like five drums five out jumps. of this one where I just sit on yeah. one. Make we make we look on your drum man, and then maybe we could start looking at how we go about making drums because you are sitting on these um, logs here, right? That are, that are about to become drums, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to look now at how they become drums. How would you take this piece of log here and transform it into drums? Mm -hmm. So, what are the types of drums that you have? We do the, um, we make the segunda, the primero. And out of the inside part, we do the smaller drums that we we'll call it like the decoration drums. So if you want for a baby, for a um, birthday gift, something different from everything else. Mm -hmm. And then also um, for the drums, we also burn your name inside or put any design that you request mm -hmm. in, in, um, on the drums so that you could identify your drums. Because many times... Uh, we have people come by in their drums, and by the time they reach at the airport, they look around, the drum disappear. Mm -hmm. So at least you have your name in your drum. So you need to look special and unique. Okay, and how long does it take to make drums? Um, like how it is right here, um, to make this segunda, we'll find the diameter, and then um, clean it, then um, dig it out. So roughly by tomorrow or within three days, you could get a drum. Okay. But back then, you would have to take like a month to get a drum. Because you would be burning out the yes, little... Yes, burning out this, um, the, the, the center. The center. Yeah. Okay, and um, did you always start with making Garifuna drums or were there drums in the past that you used to make? Well, my dad started with the Tum Tum drums and then... Um, venture on into the Garifuna drums, and that's where what we are following right now. So, so what, 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 what your sister is doing here is marking out the yes. drum that will be made out of this particular log that's in front of us, right? Yeah, this is a segundo that a segunda, segunda, it's a segunda. Uh -huh. um, she's um, finding the diameter of the log, okay. so it goes right around, so it should um, level so that when it, you this end right here, we're going to just cut it off. 
So we don't want to use this era so to level it so that it could come like this right here. Okay. So you, it this outer piece here will be cut off? Yes. yes. And what you do that? Just, just cut that off yes. and, and discard because it? Because she could have um, make, it, um, make this one much bigger. But there's a size that she um, she wanted. So um, she just... Cut it that size. That's 15 inches, right? Yeah. That's 15 inches in diameter. Okay. So let's, let, let, let's go through the process then. And walk us through the process as, as we... As we, as we so we have marked our drum. Yes. Mark then you the have, other side. yeah, we're going to flip it over and so mark that you can mark side? the other side. Okay, yes. so we have, we have to move this out of the way then. Yes. Okay, so we have switched, we have turned over our log, and our assistant here is um, marking the, the exact diameter? diameter that's on the other side, right? Yes. Um, on For the segunda, we, um, we use both sides are the same size. We don't put in, uh, we don't put the bottom bottom not part like smaller. V. Yeah, not like a V. Yeah, but some people, if they re, um, ask for that, we'll do it the way they, they are. Yes. Mm -hmm. So typically, what type of drum would you put the V in for? It's yeah. depend on the Primero. The Primero. Let's 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 let's, let's look at that Primero. This would be a Primero. This would be a Primero yes. drum. Yes. So we'll do it at two inches. Because this, like with this segunda, the next one that would come out of it would be the um, Primero. Then after the Primero, we have like the decoration, the smaller Primero. Then after that, you have the decoration size. Mm -hmm. And then the end. Then the end. Because the small little one, that's what we call the end. So the, 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 that would be like the base drum, or this would be like the, the, the drum. The the yeah. So, yeah. So and Nori has started the saw, the chainsaw. So the chainsaw is running. And let's see how she'll handle that chainsaw. Put it on the table to um, to take out the center. But you don't you don't you don't use the log the way you got it because you want it to be perfectly shaped, yes. right? You want it to yes. be to, like, like that. You can polish it and, and 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 do different things with it when you take off the outer bag. Yes, yes. So, so basically, all you're doing is taking off the outer bag from the yes, log. Taking off the um, we take off the outer bag. Then you use the planer. Make it look just like how that one there, right? Over there. Um, are there many drum makers in Dangri? Um, in Dangri, that's me, my sister, my dad, and they also have this young man that make the drum in Dangri. Um, he took a summer class with us, so we, my sister and I, taught him how to make the drum. So now he's making his drum and making his money. What, did you did you all have a drumming school at one time? Yes, we still do. We still do. So. But Dita, I think the skill really is um, having to cut exactly where you drew the line. In other words, you can't cut it in any kind of funny way. You can't cut it any kind of way. You have to cut it to the line. Because if you cut it over the line. You yeah, mess up the shape of the drum. Yeah, yeah so we have to cut it the way how it is right now. Yeah, it has to be a perfect rock cut. Yes, yes. That takes a lot of skill and a lot of years of practicing. A lot of years, you really, you can't, you, you can't just come and say you are cut out a drum like that. Yeah. Because yeah. they have some other drums too, um, other people make. The people who buy it still come back to us. To make we fix it the way how we fix our drum because they love the way how we shape out our drum. Yeah. But we only could do so much. We repair the drums, yes, but we only could do so much because as long as they don't shape out, you can't make no other shape out of it because it, it already hollowed out. Yeah. And on average, how many drums you, you, you would sell on an average? 
That's a good question. Every time I try to keep track and then I can't keep track of it. I think I need training on that part. I need a workshop. <laughs> And the cost of a Segundo drum like the one we are seeing here, how much would that be? Um, if you price a Segundo like that, that would go like for, um, for that would be like 450 But it's cheaper when you buy the Piera drum than to buy single. Yeah. What's the cost of a pair? If I buy a Primero or a Segundo? For the Piera, Segundo and Primero, the starting price for the pair would be give you like a 500 going up for the pair. Depends for the size. Yeah. Can also, and I can also come to you for lessons and learning how to play the drum. Yes, you could come and make your own drum. Yeah. We teach you how to make your drum. It take you like a week to complete your drum. Uh -huh. Yeah. So next so time. I think you would be more appreciative if you make your own drum because you'd see the hard work that you put into it. I think I'll come one of these days so you can teach me how to make my own drum. Sure, we're right here for you to come. Anytime. So if she makes one mistake in the, in, in the cutting, we have to cut it you, smaller. You have to do a, a, a another line, another line and then yeah, to take it down smaller. And that would be a lot of wasted. Yes. yes. Because she already cut it to 15 inches um, diameter. Yeah. When she could have already make when she could have make what 18 inch drum. So she put it down smaller. a lot of skill really because like we know that we don't cut the animal and you have to be very focused yeah, yeah. she's concentrating a lot right now and, and exactly the cut she's doing so that's why um we can just go and tap her yeah because if you go and tap her then like man she could even cut herself or cut the log. Yeah. yeah. Leave her alone and watch her. Yes. Do all drum makers here in um, Dangriga use a chainsaw to make their drums at all? you know? Well, I don't know. I know um, me, my sister, and my pa, we, make the, we use the chainsaw, but I don't know what the next person used. Yeah. But, but, like, you, like you were telling me earlier, you don't necessarily have to use the chainsaw, right? The, the you, don't, you don't have to use the chainsaw, but not using the chainsaw, yeah, take you a long time. To, like, like, like to do what she's doing would take a lot of planing and planing. And yeah, with what she's, doing, what she's doing right now, you see within, if you count the minutes, it'll be like roughly five to ten minutes to do that. But... Back in the days, they used to use machete, and you have to chop, 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 so that means whole day you are chop, tomorrow you are chop, maybe till the following day, then you are finished chop. But with the chainsaw, within 10, 15, if, um, 5, 10 minutes, you are finished. Yeah, and you got the shape that you want. Yes, you get the shape what you want. So, because back in the days, even like the, um, even like for plane, you would use the hand planer. We know we use the electrical planer. To use the hand planer, you have to like go up and down, up and down, and that will take you a long time again. Now with the electrical planer, within five minutes you finish. Yeah, I am looking at your sister doing that. I admire the skill because she can that light that was drawn. And this thing, she cannot cut beyond that line. She must be precise as to that line, right? Or, or is it, or is it yeah, and you have been. Like you said, will be spoiled, yeah. and they will be, the effort will be gone. You know, a lot of it has, I notice have to do with the positioning of the chainsaw. You know, the, you, you, like you have to position the chainsaw on a slant. You cannot go straight down with it, but you have to go keep going on the slant the way this log is shaped. Yeah, you have to, that the way how you have to stand up behind the chainsaw. Because 
You can't go for the side and do the chains that way because you cut off the lag. When you were learning to do the same data, when you were learning to do the same data, um, you, what were some of the mistakes you would have, would have made? My mistake, I've cut over the line. Because at the fir first one, I mean, want to cut the line. You wouldn't want to cut half the pieces. I want to cut it by junk. So they try to hurry. Try to do a short cut. But not knowing you can't hurry the work. You have to take your time. Go piece by piece. So that they could come off easily. So now I learned the art of it. So like, I'm good at it now. Another question here I got. I look at the, 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 the log without, uh, the log before we took off the bark off it, right? Um, and I wondered, well, why would they take off the bark? Why not tell the drum looking the same way how the natural state of the log? Um, and and, and uh, with that, does the bark have to come off uh, for uh, where the sound is concerned of the drum? Yes, the bark has to come off because um, if you keep the bark on it and you take it and you make a drum, Maybe you could have, depends by the way how they cut the um, log, because we have to cut it by the moon. But now, the way how we buy it from the people, we don't know if they buy the moon they cut it. So we have to take off the bark to sun and seal it to cure the, um, to cure the wood. Yeah. And then, um, forget the beauty of the log, the wood. You have to take off the bark to see the beauty of the wood. Yeah. And when we take off the bark as well, um, that can make the wood get dry. Like if you keep it right like that with the bark on it, 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 it stay moist. Yeah. Um, after this bark is removed, how long will it take before you are ready to walk the walk time to the ship? Excuse me? How long will it take for this drum to be ready to be shipped? When you plane it, yeah, don't ship. When you plane it, then after I'm um, cleaning, then after that we are dig it out. Okay. Then yeah, ship, the ship will come in. Then after that sanding, then we put the fit eye and the skin. These are mostly the hardest the part hardest of it. Part of it. Yes. Uh, but I would think that the digging out of the inside would be hard, harder. That's why this process. This process, yeah. Yeah, that the hardest. Okay, part. so what, 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 what is your sister going to do now? She's going to use the electrical planer to um, clean the wood. Oh, so she's going to clean the wood. So yes, to shape, perfect make it have the yeah shape. All right. Yeah. That's another long process too, right? Isn't it? Um, it takes like five to ten minutes. Oh, okay. Less than ten minutes. Less than ten minutes, you'll have that shape. And back in the days, it would take like two days to get the real shape of it. Okay. Mm, two, three days. Because the product you are looking for, you want. Um, the direction uh, that she's sawing in right now is that play uh, like an important role in the drum making process. Yes, you have to straight across. You have to put it straight across because you can put it slant. You know. Okay, you have when it comes in straight across. Um, if you follow the line. If you notice the line. Uh -huh. yeah, see. that there's definitely an art to this madness. Yes, definitely. <laughs> well, this is just amazing though. This is, uh, this is amazing. Um, so is the pressure of the the saw the cleaner, the cleaner um, like important when making the drum? Yes, you have to press on it so that you could. So very you know, hard, you yes. have to press it. Not really hard, you just take your time. Okay, so yes. straight line, take your time yes. to make the drum. Okay. Yes. My grandfather is having a good time. <laughs> so that's me. We are take fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 
We have much more from the Rodriguez family after we hear from our partners. The b &E Charitable Trust, working in the development of Belize by inspiring young Belizean entrepreneurs to dream and to dream big. The National Gas Company, fueling Belize forward. The National Gas Company makes sure that you not only have a guaranteed supply of gas for every household need, but also that it is of the highest quality always. Shell Belize has been fueling Belize for many, many years, and they have done so reliably and with a lot of dependability. And the Bari stores in Belize City, Belmopan, San Ignacio, Orange Walk, and San Pedro, offering you much more for much less. Shell V Power, with three times more cleaning and friction reducing molecules. Go well, go Shell! We are the Barry, offering you great products, good service, and of course, the lowest prices in the entire country. Visit us in Belize City, Belmapan, San Ignacio Cayo, or York, and now in San Pedro, La Isla Bonita. The Barry. Get more? Pieles. My name is Carlos Rodriguez. I am Belizean, and I have been in this business for six years. Finally, no, because of transparent prices, better product quality, and fairness in the market, I can see my headway. I have worked hard to buy my own trucks, get my business going, and not depend on anyone. And with NGC operating in the market, I can feel good about the future for my small Belizean business and our employees. In just a short time, I have seen the difference in product quality. A better product means your beauty lasts longer and you get more value for your money. With NGC, there is a fair price across the country. No games or hidden middleman prices. My small business can finally compete in a fair way and be able to pass on better prices to you, our consumers. Trust me, I've been in this business a long time and finally the playing field is level and transparent. I am Carlos Rodriguez from San Ignacio Town and I can finally see my headway. The National Gas Company Belize Limited, fueling Belize forward. Since 2008, the Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust has created opportunities for Belizeans to develop themselves and their communities. The trust employs tools that are intuitive, collaborative, and accessible so that every Belizean is empowered to achieve their full potential. Over 200,000 Belizeans have been impacted because of our various initiatives. The Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust, empowering Belizeans of today to create the Belize of tomorrow. Um, why, why, why are you putting those nails? Why is he putting those nails in the middle? Um, just have to make we put it up at the log, the two logs right there. Because uh, we are finding the length of the log now. Okay. We are level it because you see I'm um, shaped it the, in all straight. Okay. So now when we put it up there, so. Then it gets straight? Yes. Okay, we are so getting, okay. use the marker to make that it could um, open up the log a little bit. So how, how did I do? Whew. You did. Uh, be, be honest now. How did I do? You do good. I want to hire you're you. Sure, you sure? Yes, I want to hire you. Make a come um, playing the rest of the log for me. Sure, I'll do that. Cause that's the hard work. That's the yes, hard I'll, work. I'll do that dollar log. That sounds like a good deal. Ooh, perfect deal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and how was your experience, Grandad? It was excellent. I I enjoyed doing that. Just as a matter of fact, um, I feel very endeared to that drum. That whenever it's finished, I think I, that might have to be the one I care with <laughs> or something like that. Uh -huh. And what did you learn? I learned how to handle that um, planer. It was the first time I handled a planer like that. Wow, yeah. I'm so proud of you looking so at you. That was the first time I uh, handled a planer mm. in that capacity, like so, on something so delicate as a drum. You know, because even though it looks easy, but I have to take it off to your sister and to yourself Here's because... Um, that's hard work. Yep. Yes. Yes, it that's is. Hard work. But I'm happy I did most of that. What? What? What you're seeing? What you're seeing there. So that that makes me feel proud that I did something. Yeah. You know. 
And and, and like you said, thank you for saying it not too bad. You're very kind with your words. I think. So, <laughs> <laughs> but you do great. You, you do great. Yeah. So we are balancing it now. Yes. Um, the two ends. Mm. So we are cut the two. Sita. So everything is done with the tree trunk. You notice, Kylie? Mm -hmm. Everything is. Even the balancing is, you know, you're, you're putting on two tree trunks, yeah. pieces of tree trunk. And those will be drummed sometime later on, I guess. Yeah. Both of them. Primero. Primero, yeah. You will find the length that you want on the drum. Okay, so we usually use, like for Segunda, we use 20 inches. Well, in length so you put it this way so it'll be like that Mark on it. which means that i'll have to cut off the two edges right yes i think go with 19. 19 you want yes. it 19 okay. 19 okay okay so that will be here, here. Yeah. and here mm -hmm. what was it? 19. okay so what you will do uh-huh no come later no 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 i will roll it Okay, so because that has to be precise, mm -hmm. right? And wait, see? wait, 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 Uh, you know, I try this one, Chief. Look, I try this one, man. Look, I try mm -hmm. to see if I could hold a pen straight. Mm -hmm. Just use your other finger so you could keep it straight. Oh, okay. Okay. Oops. Take your time, dude. Remember, remember, yes, remember, 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 I'm just learning. Oops, wait. You, know, push you it can't to make the stick right. move, and you're not for push it to tight. You're making oh. it slide. Okay, then. Yes. But they hold me hand the man because I had the uh, item for. Okay. Turn. Turn. Okay. Turn. Uh -huh. And let it go. Yeah. Must it the shape where I cut it, not true? Yeah, that's how it um Okay. Oh cut okay. and tree down in my house and practice. Keep the mahogany me for a seed I Okay. okay, what next now? Now we are take it down and then after that we are cut the two in. All right. She has to cut it, cut it even. It has to be even cut. The cut cannot be bent in any kind of way because then it will spoil the drum. Yes. And we need a perfect drum. But she uses that saw like she's pressing a piece of cake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have to keep years of experience, no? Yes, years and years of experience. Let me say we think about a year to learn to go and even cut like that uh, for a drum. If you cut like that, it would have to be like more than a year. You have to do it every day if you make it, it would have really get the grip of it. Well, it's either the top or the bottom, it doesn't really matter at this point in time, right? And you see the bottom piece, you could sand it, buff it, make it to be a cutting board. Oh, yes, yeah, so a chopping board, board yes. Yeah. You're right, so you waste something. You no, you don't waste anything. anything. Right. So that's the even cut there, that yeah. they're looking at right there. Yeah. A lot of work goes into the making of a garifuna drum. It's not just like that. And you have to, you have to love it yeah. to make you could get it done. Each drum is different, right? Each drum has a different yes. song, right? Yes. 
there, there are no two drums that really sound identical, right? No, um, a song alike but not identical. Yes, alike but not identical because it depends on the skin itself. Yeah. yeah, you have to choose the skin because we use deer, we use sheep, and we have and we use goat skin. Yeah. So. No, and, and the wood, the wood itself contributes to the sound of the drum, right? The the... No, not the wood, but the size of it gives the different song, and depending on the person playing the drum can I have some people they only beat the drum they don't play the drum because when they beat when you say they beat the drum that because they end up the bust the skin tear the skin and they brag about oh I bust so much drum there is so much skin but you could have a drum for years and with the same skin if you know how to play the drum Play the drum and not beat the drum. So there's an art to making the drum and there's an art to playing the drum. Yes. The, you have an art for everything. Mm -hmm. To playing and um, to making the drum. Okay, so now we have our segunda, prim primero. Segunda. Segunda, segunda, yeah. Time, time, time. So now we have our segunda drum. Right? Segunda drum. Yes. Right? Primero and segundo is just first and second, right? Yes, yeah. So this is the second drum, the, sec the bass yes, drum. Um, yeah. I need to look in the where to dig. Start oh, to dig. Okay, so I went right you, around to. You going right around? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would go around with you. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Yeah, we're done the bottom right now. Okay, okay here we go then. Uh -huh. And so we, you have to do an even. Yes. yes. You make I feel good, you know. You know I make I feel good because I end up the playing this thing here, and you end up to use it for to draw this very important line. Yeah. So I didn't do too bad then, after yeah. all, because I didn't see you do anything after I, I stop yeah, after I stop good. playing and I still do nothing more. <laughs> I tell you, I do very good. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> so I work with you. Yes. Because okay. I thought I, I would think that you'd have a bad guideline because I <laughs> because I I did a bad um, thing, but you you just have the same guideline and I'm bad at all. So for the first time, I feel, I would say I feel proud of myself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's shape my own drum. Yes. All right. So, like that then. Yes. Then I like to do like that. So you come right around. Yep. Right, right. Yes, sorry. Push it. You have to push it out. Use the fingers, but be your guideline. Okay. You need to come put your body like that. I'm feeling like fire. I'm looking at the gun, man. Is this for the bird? Yes, because it was against the wood. Yes, look at us. So if you be, because you're not used to it yet. Give it a few more days and I'll get used to it. You don't get splinters sometimes? No, no. because when I fire my thing, it yeah. will come back. Yep. That's it, right then? Yeah. Granddad, you sure you don't know about this drum making thing? The last time I did something, I didn't do all of this either, right? Did, did that, not, right? Yeah, the was when I went with, with, to, to her, with her and her father, I think about 12 years ago at Why Not. Mm -hmm. But I didn't do all of this. I, but Maybe I, maybe, I, maybe I retain a bit of the, what you showed me, no? <laughs> but no let's you okay. Use the you make I use the chainsaw? Yes. Yeah. Trust you trust me, and I'll cut off my finger? No, you no. don't have to cut your finger. All right. <laughs> 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 Okay, so Nori. Yes, already. 
Nori, you have done a wonderful job, Nori. Thank you. You have finished um, sawing out uh, the middle of this drum of, 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 of ours. Yes. I, I feel a touch of this particular drum right now. I think that yours because that you made work on it. Yeah, well, thanks for teaching me, you know, because mm -hmm. you, you had the patience with me. You know, That's man. no problem. I, and I really enjoyed the experience. It was a wonderful experience mm -hmm. indeed. So where do we go now? We took we have taken out the middle, yeah, we'll take uh, out the and middle. from the middle you can make a little drums like yes, you can so see. You could get you could get a primero, and then you got two more in a one. Okay. So smaller one. ones. Ornamental, as you will see, the from the middle. Ornamental drums from the middle. So now what we are doing? Measure the size, mm -hmm. and then we will um put the holes on the drum. The holes. Yes, you need um each drum carries seventeen holes. Uh huh. Yes, and one extra. Why are the holes? Because then you use that um, for string the drum with okay. the ropes. All right, so we're going to see you do that yes. right now? I guess. All right. So, Data, we have done the inside of the drum now. Um, now, what next? Um, now the sanding. The sanding? Yes, we use the grinder That's to... Standard. Yes. Yeah, okay. So we start, start sanding now? Yeah, we're sanding. After the sanding data, what next? Um, the next thing you do, we do um, the like if we, if somebody requests some type of drying or names or the thing, then we burn it in at the log. Mm -hmm. Then after burning it into the log, we um, sanding seal. Okay. Then after sanding seal, we varnish. Then after that, we put the rim around it, the titai. We make we measure the thing. Then after the titai, we we make the um, make the rim for the tie. We get the skin and we use the same rim for measure to for measure the um the skin. Okay. And after we measure the skin, we scrape. When we don't finish scrape, we end up put it in our bucket of water what? to make it get soft. The skin get soft, uh -huh. so we could bend it right back by the same rim. Okay. So we um the drum usually carry two rim, one to the top. That would that the rope would um, go over and then one with the skin, because the one on top would put pressure on the skin, uh -huh. so it could get tight and make the sound okay. you want. So let's see if we can how we can walk through that. Maybe if not even with my drum, but maybe with another drum that might be in a in a fitter stage, right? So we'll move away from my drum because I'm already cleaning this drum already, you know. Um, so let's move from my drum to one that's that's ready to to be. This is the burning you're talking about. Yes, yeah. because somebody requests the coconut tree, the palm uh, tree. So we put the, the yes and the Belize. This so uh, yeah. Who, 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 you you do this? Uh, Me and my sister do it. Me and Nori. You, is there a design that you have that you? you well, we we'll draw it how first. You, how you, you have to draw this by hand, like. Yes, yes draw by everything hand. Everything you have to draw by hand. Yes. So you're not only a drum maker but an artist too. Yes. She more okay. artist than me. Oh, okay, because this is this is nice. All you could draw a, a human being with chicken foot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, stick man. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice though. Yeah. And so, what? No, you put you, this is ready for to be covered. To be covered. Yes. Mm. So with this, then we are use the titai divine. Yeah, you have any? But yes. Let, let's just let's, let's just walk folks through this and so we can see. So what you have here is what you call the titai. The titai, yes, this uh -huh. is a divine. divine. Um, this come from the forest, the for the forest. But um, you have different species of um titai, but you have to choose the right one. They're not the, any type of titai you are use. Mm. So like this is the good one where. Well, we use so you have to take it out of the water. Mm -hmm. Take it out of the water. Yeah. A whole in here. Yes, because when you go to the pull farm, up, pull this up. yeah, you have to cut it by the moon, either three days before the full moon or three days after mm -hmm. the full moon. You can't cut it any time. Mm -hmm. So no, the water. So no, we have to carry this over the sun. Well, we could, this yes, yes. Let's go then. Make sure you could. So this is what you will use to, to, to fix it, the yes, drum Yes, the then. drums. Alright. 
So they thought she's going to cut it to tie to suit the drum, right? The size yes. of the drum. Peel the um, skin off. Skin off. Yes, they have to um, peel the skin off. Because uh -huh. the tie she have in her hand, you have to look for the drum. Then you check the size of the uh, tie. The yes. Uh -huh. So it could suit the drum. So you can cut any tie. That would be the top rim. Uh -huh. That's why you see a um, kind of thicker than the, um, than the one with it on there. A special art. Yes. Everything we do yesterday is a special art. Uh, but you can't tie it, it, it with nothing else besides it to tie, right? Anything else will make it sound like a drum? Well, some people use the iron and then they weld it together. But I don't, I wouldn't use the iron. Mm. Because this is the natural way. Well, we have to use this because this is uh, the. Um, Original way the Garifuna people, um, the Garifuna, yeah. yeah. So you don't do drums with the iron thing? No, that because about. that's not part of our mm -hmm. culture. So that has to be the exact size of the. Yes. The, the, the and with that, sometimes when you get too close, Sometimes very flexible. Uh -huh. Sometimes you let go when you tie the rim and then you could slap somebody else with it next to it. Oh, yeah? Next time you have to move a bit further back. <laughs> <laughs> Before I get slapped. Yeah. <laughs> See, your sister is an expert in the machete? Yeah. She uh, likes machete. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is there a special reason why there's a three day before the moon and three day after the full moon? Yes, um, because when you cut it like on the exact day of the moon, the um, tie tends to break easily and um, the insects start eat out the, the wood. Mm. So everything has its own time yes. and season. Time and season. Uh. It's a lot of work, it's a labor intensive one. You know, and, and, and we are only seeing part of it. Yes. Yeah. It's got through a whole lot of process you have to do before you make a drum. One well drum. Alright, okay. So, so data, you all have made a successful living off making drums, right? Yes, yes, we make a successful um, living because my dad did it years ago, sent me through school with my mom. They know I did do it. I sent my kids, my children to school. So, and, I, and I guess your sister does the same, same thing. Yes, because yeah. um, she do catering along with drum making. So she do all around there as well. Yeah. She build this house through the drums. Oh yeah, so yes. Yes. She built her own house by yeah by by making drums. Yeah, my one. It's my one too. The true drums. Oh yeah, so I build my one. Door, yes. Yeah. No, I live. The original spot, the family home. Okay. And it's all that is by drum, drum making. Drum Everything making, is all yes. to making drums. Right. So if, if somebody wants a drum made, how do they contact you? Well, they could contact me through WhatsApp or just call regular 602-8593. And then Nori, what's the number now? 63. 1871. 1871. Yes. So you have to data? Or Nori. Or Nori. Yes. Right? And they will make the best drums for you. Yes. Right? And Marta. Bowls. Bowls. Paddles. Paddles. And we have all of that on the exhibition here. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, 
Okay. Data so now she has made her to tie circle to go around the drum, right? Which took uh, some time, yes. much more time than, 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 than we are showing you. Um, now, what is she doing now? She this, she's cutting the skin? She's uh, uh, yeah, she, she didn't cut the, the skin because that weighing on the, on the rim so that um, it could wrap mm -hmm. very nicely. Then put it on top of the drum, mm -hmm. then take the top rim and then put it back up. Then you take the rope, put it over the top rim mm -hmm. so you could put pressure on the bottom ring mm -hmm. to make that the um, drum make the song that we want. Okay, this skin is from what animal? That's a sheep skin. Okay. How do you get your skins? Um, we buy them from the hunters and we buy them from like the um, meat meat um meat vendors. Meat, meat vendors. Uh -huh. Yeah, because okay. they sell the meat and then we buy the skin. Uh -huh. So the vendors still make money off of the skin as well. So what treatment would you take a skin like this and put it through? Um with that, uh with the skin you would put it on the um ply board and stretch it out, take the nails and stretch it, put it towards the sun, take the um white lime, pour it part up it, but you have to clean it, make it look inside be nice no meat no no fat and then you take the um white lime and then you put it part up it so it's the sun versus the skin mm -hmm. some people like put salt but you know for the use salt mm -hmm. you know for use ashes yeah the salt the skin get moist the night so if you want to play a drum the night and you use was skin we got salt on it the night you can't play the drum because the skin gets soft which skin will produce the best song, I think? Well, me and my pa always have that talk, and I find out that the know the skin give the song that the person playing the drum. Okay, then. You know, because I see that with this young, with Joshua. Uh -huh. Joshua will play with drum, even if he don't have the peg, but he bring out the song, uh -huh. because he play the drum and he know how to play the drum. But they have some people who play the, not really play the drum, they beat the drum. Mm -hmm. But they were turn the peg, turn the peg tight, tight, tight. And that could block the rim or tear the skin or block the lag. So if you are a real drummer, you don't need to put the drum that tight to make the song what you want. That you where they play the drum will bring out the um, song. And what would your father say about the type of skin used? Well, my pa always say uh, he loved the um, goat skin. And I love the goat skin as well. Because the goat skin, especially for a Primero drum, because it rattled, it give that song to me. I, I mean, I don't play the drum, only make the drum. Just like the people there who play the drum, they don't know who to make the drum. Yeah. So everybody play their role with the drums. So, but the Segunda, I like, like their skin. On the big single, no, on the bigger single, no, I prefer the deer skin. So you have to skip up all that yes. fur from off the, off the, off the, off the, um, the skin. The skin? Yes. Because okay. if you keep the fur on it, you know, I give the song where you want. Okay. So I, when, when I saw the skin, I said, I wonder if I turn the skin in the fur inside down. If you turn it upside down, it, you know, I make no song. Okay. That has to come off. Yeah, then you have double work because you have to take it down for scrape it. Mm -hmm. so it has to come off. Yes. And that in itself is a whole, whole process. The whole next process and it takes a lot long of time. That goes into one of these drums. Yes, you know, we a just lot pick of it work. up and look at it and we don't realize uh, what all goes into making one of these drums. But they have um, times, they have like with some of the people, they would have said, oh, it's too expensive. No man. And they say, oh, I can't afford to pay the price there. Mm -hmm. But we know the charge for where the work will we put into it. We mm -hmm. pay like for the material, the gas, the stuff that we put into this drum. But um, we have other people who come and say, you know what? We come and really sit down um, for see how we make the drum like this guy, um, Ashley Mendes. He do a drummer and he sit down with me to see how we fix fit because he come out of our drum and he sit down and help with the drum. He tell me data, you know what? I give you one hundred percent. I respect you. No, I have to make the other drummers they know how hard on the work 
to make mm. what drum come the way how it is. Yeah. Because he said, if they may meet me, if you do this, I won't even do this drum making. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a speciality indeed, and, it's, you have, and a labor of love, in all honesty. Right. So he said, he may tell he, the other drummers, they need to pay the price of their drum, because mm -hmm. the hard work. So when you next you purchase a Garifuna drum, understand the amount of work that goes into making one single drum. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, that's an art, you know. You have to really love the culture for make you really want to make drums. Because they're really hard work. Well, to me, my sister worked with so that hard for me. But she's telling me if we work hard, but as long as you put your mind to something, you'll get it done. A very talented family indeed, because like I say, your older sister so, yes. and we're going to be talking to her too, you know, about what she does. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. When we come back, we will speak with another Rodriguez sister who is a seamstress who specializes in Garifuna outfits. Shell V Power with three times more cleaning and friction reducing molecules. Go well, go Shell. We are the Barry, offering you great products, good service, and of course, the lowest prices in the entire country. Visit us in Belize City, Bermapan, San Ignacio Cayo, Orndrag, and now in San Pedro, La Isla Bonita. The Barry. Get more? Feelings. My name is Carlos Rodriguez. I am Belizean, and I have been in this business for six years. Finally now, because of transparent prices, better product quality, and fairness in the market, I can see my headway. I have worked hard to buy my own trucks, get my business going, and not depend on anyone. And with NGC operating in the market, I can feel good about the future for my small Belizean business and our employees. In just a short time, I have seen the difference in product quality. A better product means your beauty lasts longer and you get more value for your money. With NGC, there is a fair price across the country. No games or hidden middleman prices. My small business can finally compete in a fair way and be able to pass on better prices to you, our consumers. Trust me, I've been in this business a long time and finally the playing field is level and transparent. I am Carlos Rodriguez from San Ignacio Town and I can finally see my headway. The National Gas Company Belize Limited, fueling Belize forward. Since 2008, the Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust has created opportunities for Belizeans to develop themselves and their communities. The trust employs tools that are intuitive, collaborative, and accessible so that every Belizean is empowered to achieve their full potential. Over 200,000 Belizeans have been impacted because of our various initiatives. The Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust, empowering Belizeans of today to create the Belize of tomorrow. Well, like I said, this is a whole lot of labor. Uh, data. I, I, I don't know how your sister could sit down and have all the patience because it, it, it's skipping the, everything off that skin and making sure that it, it, it clean. there's nothing left, that it's clean. Then you yes. have to soak it after that, no? Yes, soak it in the water uh -huh. before you um, continue on with the process okay. to make a complete drum. Well, your older sister is here, and I guess we could maybe go across and talk to her in the meantime while... While Nori does this, um, yes. we will go and talk to you. Let's talk about that. Yep. All right. Uh, let me go over here. <laughs> and we are with Idra Rodriguez. And Idra, you are a seamstress, right? If I got yes, that I correct. Yes. Um, and you make these lovely Garifuna outfits, yes. right? Yes, and you're wearing one right now. Yes, I am. Yeah. 
And oh. with me is granddaughter Kylie. Let me introduce you to granddaughter Kylie. Hi, Kylie. Hello. <laughs> and um, this outfit that you have on, what? How would you describe? You you made it yourself, right? Yes, I did. I uh, made it myself. Now, how would you describe the outfit that you have on right now? Um, what, what 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 typical outfit would that would this be? This is an agono outfit. Mm -hmm. It's a, a it's a working outfit. It's usually a working. It was a working outfit back yeah. in the day, but now you can wear it whenever whenever you want to. Yeah. Because um, we don't go to the farm anymore like we used to. This is what we used to wear to go to a farm uh -huh. and it would be long all the way down to my, my ankles and then we put on a pants under it when you go to work uh -huh. and then we wear a head tie a moose way around the waist uh -huh. to kind of like a waistband so okay. that when you hoe or you bend down to wash it it it, it, it holds up your it supports your back yeah yeah so okay. that's what we would we would wear mm -hmm. but i i love this gown now because of, of that, it being a working outfit. Yeah, so it, yeah. it, it hangs loosely and, yes, and, and it makes yes. you feel um, comfortable, right? Yes, uh -huh. yes. Very breezy. Now, you, you, mm -hmm. you, you are a seamstress. Um, how did you start? Or when did you discover that you had this desire in you to be a seamstress? Actually, when I start, I start. I learned how to sew at um, CYE. That's the precursor to Delil Academy right now. Mm. It, it was started by Sister Julie Therese Barriel, mm. and one of the subjects that she taught was sewing. Mm. And I fell in love with sewing. Well, after my program finished, I really. F it's then that I fell in love with sewing, and um, she taught me after the program was finished, and then she told me, well. Because I wanted to learn more, she told me the 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 sewing room was yours, mine. Mm -hmm. So I could just go to the sewing room. I had patterns and stuff, and I could just teach myself different things than what she taught because she taught me a short. Mm -hmm. And then there were many patterns. And then when 19 came up that year, that was 1992, I asked her if she knew how to sew the Garifuna outfit. And she said no. Mm -hmm. But just by looking at the skirt, she could figure it out. And so she figured it out, and then she taught me, and then I I taught myself the rest, the blouse, mm -hmm. and just by looking at other people's outfits, I I learned it. You're, you're, you're yeah, learning. and I yeah I figured it out, and then I started doing it, and then I started just doing different styles, like different designs for myself because I fell in love with the girlfriend outfit mm -hmm. for myself. So I started doing different designs for myself, for my nieces as they came along, my nieces, my nephews. And every year, that's what I did. I would, um, so when 19 was coming up, I would sew an, a new outfit for each mm -hmm. of my nieces mm -hmm. and nephews and for myself. I, in 96, my mom, she brought her outfit and she said, you can sew now. Mm -hmm. I don't have to pay for my Garifuna outfit. So you'll do mine for me now. And I was, it was really scary for me because I'd never done, for an, done it for an adult besides myself. Yes, but it it uh, <laughs> it came out kind of good, and then but she was very very proud of very proud of it, and so I continued to make for her, and then well, she started to bring in customers, customers for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So every time I got, got clear now. You got big now. <laughs> <laughs> every time I got comfortable, she kind of pushed me uh -huh. to do something else, you know, and so. I continued to do that and um, started to do for other people and it was good and um, now I get orders, I get a lot of orders before the 19th and then um, I have people who would design their own their own outfits like Aoife. She always Aoife, Aoife 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 Aoife. Aoife. Yes. Yeah. She always designs her own outfits. Yes, yes, yes. and then she, yes. she likes doing that. Yeah, she likes yeah. designing, and then she would bring her designs to me and tell me, "Well, eh, this is what I, this is what I want," and she would explain everything to uh, me that uh, that uh. she wanted, and she would draw them and to the last detail explain, and then I would make them for her. Okay. Yes. So, how long have you been sewing? Uh, since '92. That's almost almost what '92 to now is what. This is what twenty twenty two. Wow, thirty years. Thirty years, really? Thirty years. You, did, you, you didn't count the years. You, oh you but you see when you enjoy what you're doing, you're not years. work. Oh yes, I enjoy. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. Enjoy. Especially like the outfit. I saw other things, mm -hmm. but the Garifuna outfits, the dashikis, they give me great pleasure to do. Mm -hmm. 
them. Yes, I enjoy doing them. And then I try to design, I try to get um, contemporary designs by looking at other people, looking at the t televisions and seeing new styles that mm -hmm. come out wrong. And I try to incorporate it into my outfits. Okay. Yes. So this is the gown now, but those at the back over this here. Is the morning. Okay. Yes, this is morning. This is the one that the, the, the Garinogo people, women usually use for to go out, to go to church, to go to Beluria. This is what they would just up in, in the in back in the day. Yeah, this it always comes with a with a pebble and goes over and goes over the skirt. While this one goes in inside the skirt. Okay. Yes, this is different. Then this is a dashiki. Yeah, this is a dashiki for the meal. Eh? This is a meal meal dashiki. Yeah. And then the, the pants? The pa I don't saw the pants. You don't know the pants. No, no, no. You don't know male clothes at all then? Only the dashiki. Okay, inside <laughs> the dashiki. There are no, no pants. Yeah, you have to go to one of the tailors for the pants. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I thought uh, you, you, you do the pants as well. Yeah. And do you have anything else you want to ask there? Oh, this is a dashiki dress. Women, yeah, women nowadays like the dashiki. They would wear, used to and do the male dashiki and then wear it. But on some women, they don't like necessarily the dashiki itself. So they wanted the, the they asked me to do a dress, just do the male dashiki, but make it in Enjoy in a dress it. form. And this is what. This is one of the ones that came out. That well, you put pockets on it, no? Yes, the pockets uh, there, some, yeah. Some, some yeah, it's pockets. a dashiki, but it just has, it's just longer. So, uh, yes. Like a long dashiki. Yes, a long dashiki. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, um, so you have been sewing for 30 years. Um, is there anything you have kept for yourself that you say, this is my pride and joy? This is the... Not really. <laughs> But I do have a lot of Garifuna outfits. I, since I love them, I never get rid of them. Okay. So even when they get tight, well, when I get bigger, <laughs> when I get bigger, well, I still have them. And sometimes I um, redesign them, mm. put put another piece of fabric in it, and then redesign and redesign them so that they could fit me now. Okay. Yeah. So you're always dressed in your traditional yes, Garifuna outfit. Yes, I love it. Yes. Along, you, have to, okay. you have an exhibition here yes, for I us. So, um, Kylie, you want to ask uh, ask her about uh, some of this stuff? Right now, um, um, what I saw in style was this circle skirt. And um, normally, got, we don't have um, a circle skirt in for the Garifuna women, but I incorporated that. I made the, garif the circle skirt and put the tux on it and do a little Garifuna flair to it. Mm -hmm. So, this is a circle skirt. Oh, well, this one is the regular Garifuna skirt. Is that I, the same one that you have on? Like the same thing? Yeah, this is, yes, this is the same one that I have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We call this a Donce style. Donce? <laughs> Why Donce? Why? Because then it's, it's much easier than these two. Where's the other one? Oh, that other one. Yeah, it's much easier to sew. It's just like a rectangular. It's just a rectangle that you bring in, you bring in together with the, um, the make them. What do you call these things? Gathers. It's a rectangle and then it has gathers. But these now are more difficult, the circle and the that one is we call it the goro. Mm -hmm. The goro skirts. Yeah, and then these are uh, just other um um dashike dresses that I made. These are dresses or shirts? Yeah, the same dashike dress, but this is for a woman. It's like a long dashike, oh. but it's for a woman mm -hmm. because it has the woman the woman shape. Is there a difference between a dashiki for a woman and a dashiki for a man in shape? Yes, because <laughs> <laughs> yes, because the men don't have the girl don't have the, the curve. The curve. Oh, <laughs> the, the curve we don't have, no? Yes, oh, have okay. Curve, so this has the curve, so it's for the woman. Okay. Yes. So part you put the curve in at this here, one, no? Here's the curve. This is the hip right here. Oh. So, so yeah. the, 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 the one yeah, for the so men will come, come straight down, down, right? Mm -hmm. The one for the men will come straight, straight down. down. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. But the colors, where you, you, you were selecting your colors, where you get your cloth from? Well, I usually, um, get, I have people who usually send cloth for me. Well, I would make outfits for people in the States, for my family members and stuff, and then they would always send me the fabrics just so that I could play around with them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get it at the stores right here in Belize City. Okay. Yes. No. What, how do you sell your clothing? 
Well, usually um, I get orders from people. People will come and ask me to sew. Sometimes, most of the time, they bring their own fabric. Mm -hmm. But um, when other people send me fabric, I would keep them. And then later on, when I have a little time, I would just um, make something or create something and put it in. Yeah. And then I would have... I keep some at home so that um, people, some people who come will just want something to pick up and go. Mm -hmm. So I keep, I keep a few at home. Yes. So price varies if they bring the class yes, and if varies. they don't. Yes. Okay. Yes, and it also depends on the, the type of the material. What, are the, what is the price of the material? Like, this is Dacron. And that's cotton and linen. And then that's batik and cotton. So it, it, the, the prices vary. Now let me give an opportunity to to advertise yourself, yeah, right? Yes. Say where you can be found and your phone number, so that anyone who's interested in buying any of your clothes can come and look for you. Yeah, well. Hi, <coughs> I'm Ada Rodriguez, designer for Tirol Charter, um, Garifuna Cultural Wear. What do you I call it? Sorry for interrupting you, but what you call it? Tyrol Charter. Tyrol Charter. Charter. What's the meaning of Tyrol Charter? Charter's daughter. Charter's daughter. daughter yes. Why Charter's daughter? Who, who was Charter? Charter was my mom. Okay. She's the one who kept pushing me when I got comfortable just doing one thing. She pushed me into something else. Okay. She pushed me. Yeah. She. Everything that I I do. I have a business though because of her, because I was just comfortable just sewing for myself and my nieces and nephews. Uh -huh. And then she pushed me to sew for her. And then she would bring her friends for me to sew for them, okay. you know, and then turn it into a, a business. Uh -huh. So she was a great part of it for me. Uh -huh. So, okay. yes, so I had to put her name there. Okay, yes. Charter's daughter. daughter. Yes. Charter's daughter. How are you saying it in California? Tyrol Charter. Tyrol Charter. Charter. Tyrol Charter. Charter. Yes. Okay, Madam Designer of Tyrol Charter Garifuna Cultural Wear. Yes. All right. We hope that we can find you. Yes, and then my number is 625-4394. I can be reached at 1654 Sabas Community, Langriga. Okay. All right. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to say to young Belizean women, how they can go about being entrepreneurs, working for themselves, and what it feels like? It feels really, really great. It, um, sometimes it's a, it's a hand-to-mouth thing, but um, doing what you love means so much. It, it gives you a feeling of contentment, a feeling of um, success for me because I'm doing what I love. So when you do what you love, you, you never really work. So try it. That's, try what, it. that's what your sister told me earlier, you know. Oh, she did. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. It's uh -huh. true. Yes, you don't. Because I know, I, I, know I, you know, like I was talking earlier, of course, as you know, with your, with your sisters mm -hmm. who make yes. the, the drumming. But if they get into the drumming, and, and so how come you never get into drumming and you went, you went to sewing instead? Oh, my goodness. They use a chainsaw. That thing is scary. <laughs> oh no, that thing is scary. Uh -huh. I'm afraid for the animal. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you think they might be afraid for your machine too? I think so. Well, Nori used to do uh, um, my bobbin. That's all she wanted to do. That's all she uh -huh. wanted to do the bobbin. The bobbin part that's all. Uh, uh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So she afraid for the machine, and you afraid for the chainsaw. I'm afraid for the chainsaw. Uh huh. And, and data, she, she, how she. She she always tell me make a call help you. She always tell me make a call call help you. I tell her look here, I don't want to have to buy and buy back people clad. So 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 basically, you you don't love to make none of these things. No. Uh huh. I just enjoy watching them do it. But this is a fantastic product, so. Oh yes, yes. I quality 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 products. Yes. So I love to say when I have my when I I have my free time I will go and sit sometimes with data sometimes I will come and sit in Nori and then just watch them do it. Yeah. Yes, well that's all I can do. That's all. You bring them water every now and then. Or you just left alone. Yeah, bring them water. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, let, let, let's go back to uh, to to data and uh, and Nori and, Nori and yeah. see. See, we're kind of the last time I left data with the script for sheep skin, <laughs> right? Yeah. I left to come and talk, to, to came across to talk to you. All right, so I just we we'll okay. just go back to to, to data and Nori here, over here. All right. All right. Okay, Nori, let's look at our drum or finished product. The way 
it, it, it will look when it's when it's finished. Yes. Uh, you know, all, all that we have been through and, and what have you. Right? We have the tatai that we, we talked about. Yeah, the skin. The inner world. Then these cards here, how, how do you decide how, well, how to place the cards? The each card, each knot, uh -huh. have to be apart from the other one. If you notice, it's very close, but have yeah. to be, yeah, because yeah. to give it that lee. Yeah. Yeah, so each, each knot, so there's a knot yeah, here. here. Then you go yeah. another one. And then, but, yes. they, but they don't touch each it's other. It's something like the guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't touch each other. It has to be a little apart from each other. And the knot is so that there's some contact made with the skin, right? Yes. And the, the, the card just uh, doesn't go across yes. the skin, but there's actually some contact from the from the card with the skin. That it actually rests on, rest the, skin. on the skin. Yeah, so right. that it will give that after that little vibration. And this is the segunda? Segunda. Yes. Second drum. Drum. The primero. I think, uh, you, you want me to leave the tune from here? Data? You don't know how to play drum. Yeah, All I could tell you that is set. Do you think then? Do you think? Do, do what you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to play the drum. I, 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 was, I was start, you know, a little, a little bit. Uh -huh. And I'm sure sometimes I can't remember. Somebody that, that know what know what they're doing and looking at us might be laughing at this point in time, <laughs> but <laughs> but definitely this has been a very exciting um, morning afternoon for us. You know, first we got the opportunity to actually take part in the making of our own drum, and um, then we saw in detail what goes into the finished um, product. Yeah. Right? We look at this finished. Uh, the, the, these are these are the tuners. Yeah, these this are tuners, is the tune eh? the, the drum. The drum. Yeah, you right. would take it like this to turn it forward, mm -hmm. so that you could tune the drum. Mm -hmm. So you could get the pitch that you want. That you want. And yeah, and this is what we were doing earlier. Different inside. inside yes. mm -hmm. And so we got our drum, our, mm -hmm. our primero, Segunda. 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 Yeah, the primero would be this little small yeah, one the here. Small one. That would be the um, leading drum. Uh, it plays, they would say it's the male drum because it gives the cross rhythm. Mm -hmm. But the Segunda is the controlling drum. Even in real life, the female always control. <laughs> well, I, I would agree with that. I, I know quite a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever rhythm that the primero um, go by um, play, uh, it has to go by what the segunda says. Okay. She calls the shots, and he follows. Okay. So, and then then you can have many different sizes of segunda drums, yes, right? This is a b basically almost a small one, right? Yeah, back in the days, it was only one size of segunda drum, but now, yeah, those were the that's size. That's a big one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a big one over there. Yes, and right. but um, now with the chainsaw, we do different sizes. Uh -huh. So that out of that, we will take like three segunda ah. itself till it reach, you know. Then we have the children, primero, no, segunda, and primero. So you have a segunda and primero for children, for different ages group. Well, ladies, after, after this wonderful experience, I mean, I totally, I have to say, I totally enjoyed myself. As a matter of fact, I want to come for classes. I definitely have to come up for some classes because uh, there's uh, so much to learn. You know, and I want to actually, um, I know you helped me make that, make that drum, or I helped <laughs> you make a, make a drum today, but, <laughs> but I, wa I, I want to come back and maybe try and make my own drum, sure. right? You know, um, and you, you just give me, the, give, me, give me the instruction. We want to thank 14 though for, his, for, his, for, his, um, for his participation, and, and, and he, I know he's shy and I want to be on camera too much, <laughs> but I want to say thank you, 14, for all, all you do for, for, the, for the two ladies, right? 
uh, 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 thank you so much. And uh, Nori, we want to thank you, and we want to thank you, Data. You're All right, I'm You're happy welcome. that my granddaughter got the opportunity to be here yes. with us as, happy as to well. Happy to meet her as well. Yeah, is there anything yes. you want to say that I did not ask you that, that, that maybe you want to bring out? Anyth Somebody? Anything that go, might go through your mind that you say, oh, I, I, mean, I don't even want to say that, you know? Uh, well, I just would like to say thank you to my dad. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have to say thank you because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here, wouldn't be here wow. doing this or wouldn't know how to make the drums. Mm -hmm. So thanks to my dad. Daddy, mm -hmm. thank you. Daddy, I love you. And we love you. Okay. So let's dedicate, let's do something then. Let us formally say okay. that we dedicate this show to Mr. Austin, Austin Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Yes. All right. So yes. this show is dedicated to Mr. Austin Rodriguez. Right. That's right. And, and and thank you so much um, for for having me here here today. And I I want to come back and do a show with Mr. Rodriguez, with Mr. Austin Rodriguez, yeah. and his whole life. Right. Yeah, so sure. definitely, I, I like to do that. Sure. Right. You're yeah. always welcome. Right. So yeah. Definitely, it won't be my last. You know, this is not the last time you're seeing me. So I tell you, I'll see you every time. Yes, um, well, this was a great experience, and I love these two ladies. They really helped us along with our process, and I had fun looking at you do your thing, being yeah. excited and yeah. getting into it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good having gra the granddaughter along, you know, as, yes. as, 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 we, as, we, as we move along, you know. So. Lori and Data, the work that you do is a labor of love, yes. right? Because you got to love, love what, what you're, you're doing. doing. Exactly. And they say that when you love what you're doing, you don't work a day in your life. Yeah. It, that is so true. That's, that's true. true. Right? That's true, yes. You know, because you love what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so we always say, Belize and beyond, thanks that's for true. choosing love. love. You could say it together, Andrew. Yes. Oh, let's say three, two, two one. one. Belize, Belize and, and beyond. beyond. Thanks, Thanks for, for choosing, choosing love. love. <laughs> <laughs> Belize Watch. Knowledge of the past. Impacting the present. Building the future. Celebration time. It don't matter what part of the jewelry comes from. You that you.